where the sheriff stands robbing like a mighty rock and falls heir to the brave Will Scatlock. Hey, Robin, they say you're an archer. I have pulled a bow. Can you split the wand? I can try. No, your swing's too wide. You, you look as if you're mowing oats. Now, hold your staff at the quarter. Black feathers. The sheriff wanted to make him quite a name for themselves. <laughs> oh, king's ransom. Must be near 100 guineas. Thank you. What goose did you pluck today, Will? Some kinsmen of Sir Phillips. They're on their way to the castle. Any trouble? No, the guards just ran like mice. Good enough. Cheek, head, low. We brought in some treasure. So I see. Aren't you too interested in gold? Watch your head, Edgar. The lads say it's worth 80 guineas. That's a good many guineas. It's a fair parry. It's a good many more than you brought in since you joined us. Yeah. Our turn's coming, isn't it, Edgar? Thanks to you, Robin. He's a good teacher, Will. Oh! Oh, perhaps I should take a lesson from the master. I don't think you need any lessons in fighting, Will. Then I can give you one. <laughs> Show him, Will. Give him one. <laughs> yes. You were against us, Robin Sir Philip's party, weren't you? I said nothing. But it was in your head. True, I would have chosen someone else to rob. When you need weapons and supplies, you rob. And the devil care who. Sir Philip's a good man, and a good friend of mine. Oh, so that's it. He's one of the gentry. He's not really one of us. Sir Philip treats his people well. Well, the country's full of those who don't. Why don't you rob them? Keep your advice until you're asked, or I'll ram it down your throat. What? Will, you're a better man than some of your deeds. When it's true that so far I haven't earned my keep. Uh. Come on, Edgar. Let's go and try our hands at our new craft. <laughs> How about him? He's an unpleasant looking character. I know I... him. That's Herbert of Doncaster. Is he a friend of yours? The devil he is. Oh, I hate money lenders, especially that one. worst about him so I can commit my first robbery with an easy conscience. Well, he comes around in winter when the people are hard put to it to find food and lends them a few shillings. That doesn't sound so bad. Yeah, but he collects twice as much as he lends and those that can't pay his friend the sheriff arrests them. Excellent, he's our man. To your post. Take cover. 
Careful here. Right. Outlaws. Are you sure? I heard stealthy footsteps in the forest. It must be the outlaws. There it is. <laughs> Probably a deer. <laughs> you are a cautious fellow, no mistake. Oh. Letting an animal scare you. I, I have to be cautious. I, I carry a full purse. Oh. Are you a... Are you a merchant? No, I'm a... I'm a sort of a collection agent. Oh. As we're both going the same way, let's go together. It's, it's safer in pairs. Oh, as you will. is a greater menace than the outlaws. Get off me! Oh, oh. oh. probably a rabbit. You can afford to be brave, since you probably carry no more than a few shillings. Yeah. Are you a merchant? Well, no, not exactly. I'm a sort of a collection agent myself. Ah, then we're colleagues. <laughs> Aren't you afraid of losing your money? Oh, no, not really. I fancy I could outwit a simple-minded outlaw. To cover! Yeah, hold on! Let's have no more of this hurtling into ditches. I wish my mind was easier about my money. Oh, put your money in your boot. In my boot? Yes, in your boot. And leave a few shillings in your purse. For the outlaws, if they should stop us. What a splendid idea. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh. My mind's at ease. But now my foot hurts. Ah, uh, security must always be gained at some sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> Hand over your purses. I'll do what he says. Be quick about it. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. We, 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 we'll do anything you say. Only, only please don't look at our boots. Boots? Oh, boots, eh? Ah, crafty. Come on, hand them over. Yes. Acorns? You said you were a collection agent. I am. I collect acorns. And you. Come on. Uh. And the other one. Look what your friend collects, Robin. Robin? Robin? You're one of them! You're one of the outlaws! The Sheriff will hang you for this! That's right. Now run along and give my compliments to the Sheriff. But what about my boots? Boots? Oh, yes. Very nice boots. Good. <laughs> the people he collected from. Do you recognize any of the names? I don't know. Oh, I know Hawkins. He lives at Kirkbridge. Is it far from here? On the edge of the forest. Why? If the money lender collected double, then half his money belongs to the victims. We'd better make haste. This is a long list. Moneylender's list? Yes. We ran into Herbert of Doncaster on the road and uh, arranged to do some of his business for him. In November, you borrowed two silver marks? 
True. And I took my pig to Nottingham last week and sold it to pay the debt. There must be some mistake. I tell you I paid. And there's no use trying to collect more, because we haven't a farthing left. I'm not trying to collect more. It's written here that you paid back four silver marks. Aye, and we shall go hungry because of it. I'm not surprised when you pay back double what you borrow. Give him back two silver marks. Bless you, gentlemen. Oh, I'm grateful for this friend. It can make a lot of difference. Are you on the moneylenders list? Yes. What's your name? Hugh at the wood. I borrowed three marks last winter. What did you pay back? Six. Give him back three marks. If we should ever want to borrow money again, can we find you in Nottingham? No. Our headquarters are in Sherwood Forest. The men of Sherwood? I've heard about you. You've probably heard that we're thieves and outlaws. No. Uh, well, I mean, one of the sheriff's men did say... These are strange times, Hawkins, when the sheriff protects those who steal and brands as thieves those who return the stolen goods. Uh, now, where's Thomas Tyler? Uh, up over. Come on, Edgar. Uh, I just found it in my door. Wouldn't have come from Sherwood Forest by any chance. The outlaws? Why should they leave money? That's what I intend to find out. I'll take this arrow to my lord, the sheriff. collected the money? Yes. They took 15 pounds. If you collected 15 pounds, my share is five. Bring it to me this afternoon. But I told you, they robbed me. Exactly. They robbed you, not me. I expect my share to be paid in full. Well, you're as much to blame as I am. You're supposed to protect honest people like me from a... Laws? How did they find the money in your boots? I told one of them. You what? Well, you don't understand. I thought he was respectable, like me. He spoke like a gentleman. You can't tell the difference between a gentleman and a cutthroat who deserve to be robbed. But I'll tell you, this one they call Robin would have fooled anybody, even you. Robin? They called him Robin? Yes. I might have guessed it. Howard. Yes, sir. You remember Robin of Locksley? Yes, sir. I have reason to believe that he's joined the outlaws in Sherwood Forest. And I think this arrow is his that my man brought in. In that case, the outlaws will be even more dangerous, sir. He's a trained soldier, one of the finest archers in England. Don't tell me what I already know. Find a way to capture him. Lay some sort of trap. Have to be a clever one. He's nobody's fool. We might offer some more of the same bribe. Send Herbert back again with a new pair of boots stuffed with gold. No, not me. I don't want anything more to do with that fella. I just want my gold back. Our gold. You said that there were 15 guineas. Well? That was before we gave half of them back. Before you... What sort of outlaws are you, robbing and giving back? to the people it belonged to, not the money lender. Robin, this is your doing. And I give you fair warning. If you're staying with us, you'll follow our rules. We're here to stay alive. 
Keep out of the sheriff's reach. Not to right wrongs done by others. If we throw in our lot with people who are wronged, we stand a better chance of staying alive and out of the sheriff's reach. Surprise, lad. On the Watling Road, old John of Lincoln and his wagon full of wine. How much my guard? Oh, just old John and his two boys. We can catch them before they get to the village. While they're still in the forest. I wonder if it's worth it. Why? It's worth it, all right. John of Lincoln has the best wine in Nottinghamshire. I meant worth the risk. Now what's sticking in your gullet? Old John's a swine and a rich one at that. I wasn't thinking of that. Their shipment of wine just went through last week. Does it strike you as odd that another one's going through so soon? No. Odd or not, we're thirsty. What do you say, lads? Do we rob the wagon? Yeah. yeah. You can stay behind if you're afraid. And miss all the fun. <laughs> I'm coming along. Tell your boys to drop their bows, John and Lincoln, or their mother will be a sorry woman tonight. <laughs> Here over Gabriel's. <coughs> Get him in here. Get him. It's a trap! Take cover! from both sides. We'll have to run for it. Scatter to the wall! Gently with him, lads. I'll cover your retreat. Run for it! I'm done for! for my all. Tis only a hundred paces. Leave the rest to me. Oh. Oh. 
You and Naylor take Will by the edge of the forest till you're clear of the trap. Then cut down through Badger's Hollow. What about the sheriff's men? You and I'll hold them off, then hide in Hawkins' hut. How many are there? Two, for sure. There they are. They won't get away. Close in! Keep your hands off me. I've done nothing. Your lordship. Finish him off. Dear, I'm no outlaw. This is my own. He's right. He belongs to Lord Severn. I know him. Why did you let them get into your house? Let them? They said they'd kill me. You're lying. No, I'm not. I hate outlaws. I can prove it to you. You can burn me house down so long as you wipe them out. Not a bad idea. Get a torch. Someone will have to run in with it. No telling how many arrows they've got left. You. That's how you can prove your loyalty. Don't mind burning me house down, my wife and child are in the field. If he hesitates, but, uh, run him through. <laughs> They're not coming out. They'll be roasted to death. Roasting or hanging? What's the difference? You were right, Robin. The wine was too costly. Too much blood in it. What can I do for you, Will? Take, take my, my place. You're an odd sort, Robin. But I think you're the man they'll remember. We'll remember you. Follow. Follow. Robin. Robin. Hood. sword should not outlive him.
sheriff stands robbing like a mighty rock and falls heir to the brave Will Scatlock. <laughs> Hey, Robin, they say you're an archer. I have pulled a bow. Can you split the one? I can try. No, Edgar, no, your swing's too wide. You, you look as if you're mowing oats. Now, hold your staff at the quarter. Black feathers. Outlaws of Sherwood Forest are making quite a name for themselves. <laughs> oh, a king's ransom. Must be near 100 guineas. Thank you. What goose did you pluck today, Will? Some kinsmen of Sir Phillips. They're on their way to the castle. Any trouble? No, the guards just ran like mice. Good enough. Cheek, head, low. We brought in some treasure. So I see. Aren't you too interested in gold? Watch your head, Edgar. The lads say it's worth 80 guineas. That's a good many guineas. It's a fair parry. It's a good many more than you brought in since you joined us. Yeah. Our turn's coming, isn't it, Edgar? Thanks to you, Robbie. He's a good teacher, Will. Oh! Oh, perhaps I should take a lesson from the master. I don't think you need any lessons in fighting, Will. Then I can give you one. <laughs> Show him, Will. Feed him one. <laughs> yes. You were against us, Robin Sir Philip's party, weren't you? I said nothing. But it was in your head. True, I would have chosen someone else to rob. When you need weapons and supplies, you rob. And the devil care who. Sir Philip's a good man, and a good friend of mine. Oh, so that's it. He's one of the gentry. He's not really one of us. Sir Philip treats his people well. Well, the country's full of those who don't. Why don't you rob them? Keep your advice until you're asked, or I'll ram it down your throat. What? Do it again, Will. Will, you're a better man than some of your deeds. But it's true that so far I haven't earned my keep. Well. Come on, Edgar. Let's go and try our hands at our new craft. <laughs> How about him? He's an unpleasant looking character. I know I... him. That's Herbert of Doncaster. Is he a friend of yours? The devil he is. I hate money lenders, especially that one. Tell me the worst about him so I can commit my first robbery with an easy conscience. Well, he comes around in winter when the people are hard put to it to find food and lends them a few shillings. That doesn't sound so bad. Yeah, but he collects twice as much as he lends, and those that can't pay his friend, the sheriff, arrests them. Excellent. He's our man. To your post. Oh, 
Are you sure? I heard stealthy footsteps in the forest. It must be the outlaws. There it is. <laughs> Probably a deer. <laughs> you are a cautious fellow, no mistake. Letting an animal scare you. I, I have to be cautious. I, I carry a full purse. Oh. Are you a... Are you a merchant? No, I'm a... I'm sort of a collection agent. Oh. As we're both going the same way, let's go together. It's, it's safer in pairs. Oh, as you will. a menace to the outlaws. Get off me! Oh, oh. oh. probably a rabbit. You can afford to be brave since you probably carry no more than a few shillings. Yeah. Are you a merchant? Well, no, not exactly. I'm a sort of a collection agent myself. Ah, then we're colleagues. <laughs> Aren't you afraid of losing your money? Oh, no, not really. I fancy I could outwit a simple-minded outlaw. To cover! Here, hold on! Let's have no more of this hurtling into ditches. I, I wish my mind was easier about my money. Oh, put your money in your boot. In my boot? Yes, in your boot. And leave a few shillings in your purse. For the outlaws, if they should stop us. What a splendid idea. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh. Uh. 